Hi everyone and welcome to a special edition of Bates Taste. The reason I call it a special edition is because the angle of the camera is a bit weird and it's purely because I want to show off what I'm about to try. So you can probably see down there there's four bottles of Prime. Yeah, four bottles of Prime. <laughs> so what is Prime? I haven't actually really got a clue. Um, all I know is that I'm doing this video because I was asked to by a good friend of mine who I work with, Caroline, and her son, Reese. Um, Reese really likes Prime and he watches my videos and he wants you to know what I think of Prime. Now, I'm a proper old fart. You know, I'm going to be 46 this year. I know Prime is aimed for children. Um, so, I, I don't even know what to expect. I know it's really super ridiculously popular. Um, I think it's promoted and created by uh, Logan, one of the Logans, not Wolverine. Um, Logan and KSI, I, I don't know who these people are. I know they're really popular social media influencers. Um, the kids love them and they've created Prime Drink which is supposed to be like hydration, hydration for the kids. Um, they do do prime energy as well, it contains caffeine, so obviously you've got to be 18 or over to drink that. But for now, these are the four primes. There are others around, um, I think there's a new yellow one, I have no idea. There's a yellow one out now, super mega special edition, someone's just paid a couple of thousand for one bottle. Um, not too long ago, people were going crazy and spending like 40, 50 quid for a bottle. I think the, the black one that I've got there, that's a KSI limited edition, which I'll go into more detail in a bit. I think that's like 30 quid on Amazon, like 30 quid for a drink, I don't think so. You'll be happy to know. <laughs> Someone as tight as me, I did not pay that amount of money for these. Um, I like some friends uh, at work, uh, Caroline and Lisa, who got me these at a far cheaper price than what people are trying to sell them for, because there's no way in hell I'm going to be paying the likes of 10, 15 quid for a flipping drink. No matter how nice it is, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'll I'll be open and honest, but I'll try not to be too brutal and too much of a miserable old fart when I try these. Um, I don't know what to expect. A lot of the adults of my age I've spoken to aren't overly impressed. Kids seem to love them. Is it a fad? It's a fad. Jeremy, when I was a kid there were fads, but then again, they weren't a costly, and it was never about food either. We never had food fads. I remember E.T. biscuits. They were weird. They were green, orange, and brown, and I really liked them, but it wasn't a fad. We had um, Panini sticker albums with swap stickers. We had Pogs. Um, two also Pokemon, well, that was something. We didn't really have a food or a drink that we would beg our parents to buy. If I'm going to be brutally honest, I like Northumberland fudge, which you can't get anymore, but I never bothered my mum for it. But that's the pair of social media, isn't it? I have to spend four minutes just talking about that. So I might as well start with the basic ones. So the first one is Red Prime. Is this an original one? I don't know. Do you know what they should do a deal with Transformers and get like an Optimus Prime one? Just putting it out there. That'd really get the kids excited, wouldn't it? So it's Tropical Punch, no artificial flavourings. Um, I think it contains coconut water. I tried to do some reading up on this just so I didn't sound too stupid. Um, yeah, coconut water. It's got BCAAs. I can't remember what that stands for, but I know generally. You'd use, those, uh, you'd use those if you go to the gym. It helps promote um, muscle mass. So I don't really know why like a seven, eight, nine, ten year old would want to increase muscle mass this way, but I'm an adult. What do I know? I've uh, got B vitamins, yeah, vitamins are good. Um, antioxidants, yeah, yeah, antioxidants are good. Uh, and it's got some electrolytes, and guess what? Electrolytes are good, especially for diarrhea. <laughs> just put it out there. Well, yeah, because hydration, you know. Um, 
I'll print it off if you noticed. Do I really want to go through the whole nutritional value? Kids will know exactly what I'm going to bear. Parents will do too. Yeah, vitamins. Low in sugar, which is always a good thing these days. Not that I care much for low sugar stuff. Yeah, it's very informative. And it's red. And it's tropical punch. And it's promoted by social media influencers. Shall I get straight to it and try it? Is it fizzy? I don't know if it's. I don't even know if it's fizzy. I know nothing. Oh, sh <coughs> sorry, nearly swore. Um, wow, that smells fake. Whoa, that 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 smells like sherbet. Really sweet sherbet. That really took me aback, and I nearly swore. Sorry, kids. Um, wow. Mm, let's try it. it. Does taste like a double dab, dip dab, sherbet thing. Um, this is got fake sugar in, isn't it? This has got flipping fake sugar in. Sorry, people, just reading this. Yeah, sucralose. And, um, yeah, I can taste the fake sugar. But flipping it, can I smell this weird, perfumey, tropical, dib dab sherbet? Wow, that, that's just. It's like um, cheap cordial. <laughs> Sorry. It tastes like cheap cordial. Um, do I find it offensive? I find the smell offensive. I actually do. I find it really not nice. Um, I suppose I can see why kids like it, maybe. Uh, when I was a kid, I just like my Coca Cola and my Phantom or 7 Up. Um, by the way, 7 Up when I was a kid, I thought it was called a Zup. I didn't realise it was a 7. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, it's it's a bit fake. I don't like it much. Um, obviously, I'm going to, have to end up drinking all of these now. I'm not going to drink them all in one day. I'll take my time. Um, yeah, I don't really like tropical flavoured stuff anyway. In my defence, what I do like though is lemon and lime stuff. I love my sour flavoured things. So I'm hoping that this one, which is green, because that means like lemon and lime, green, say, association, colour. Um, yeah, by the way, it wasn't fizzy. I never told you, like, it's not fizzy. It's flat. It's flat because, like, the coconut water and stuff. It's not a um, fizzy carbonated drink. Maybe it would have been better if it was carbonated. But what do I know? What do I know? Right, lemon and lime. Lemon and lime. Not looking forward to it. I'm really not looking forward to the niffin. Mm, smells like lemon and lime opal fruits. Nowhere near as pungent as that flipping tropical one. That really took me aback. I'm not minding the smell of this one. But then again, like I said, I like lemon and lime. Sorry, just... <laughs> Just so I know what I'm drinking. I know what I'm putting in my mouth. I don't get it. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Um it's a drink. It's a lemon and lime drink. It's not it's not bowed me, it's not made me thought, I'm so glad I paid forty quid for this. I didn't pay forty quid for this. But people do. I've got some Robinson's lime cordial, well, it's lemon and lime cordial in the back, in the fridge. Tastes like that. I didn't pay, well, I didn't pay 40 quid for this. Um, these are really, 
They're not horrible, but I don't understand why people are going so crazy over them and why they want to spend so much money on them. Maybe if I drink one throughout the day and then I feel super hydrated and my skin clears up and then I can go to the gym and build some muscles um, and then all the antioxidants make me feel better, then yeah, fair enough, I'll, I'll, um, I'll buy Prime, but this doesn't... I don't get it. How many times I'm going to say that this video? I don't get it. It's a flat lemon and lime drink. Sorry, Reese. I know you really like these. I know a lot of kids like these. But remember this. I'm an old man. I'm an old, grumpy old man who doesn't want to pay a lot of money for drinks and no longer falls for fads. I say I no longer fall for fads, but if a new console came out like the PlayStation 6, I'd probably be interested in that. As to, do you know what? The PlayStation 6 would still be cheaper than what some people pay for a flipping prime. <sighs> Ready for the next one? Are you bored already? Because I am. Um, blue raspberry. I love blue raspberry stuff. Blue raspberry slush, the best. So this won't let me down. Surely it won't. Come on, KSI and Logan. You know what you're talking about, obviously. Um, why don't you aim these at people that go to the gym? You know, like, not well, my age maybe, but, you know, um, young adults, maybe. Why not target young adults to drink Prime because we've got, like, the BCAs. Well, sorry, BCAAs, I should say. It should be accurate. It's got your vitamins and it's got your hydration, which obviously when you get to the gym... Hydration is extremely important. So why are you targeting kids? I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't open it. I need some more BCAAs. <laughs> right. <coughs> Gee, the best befores aren't, um, aren't great. October 2023. But then again, kids are going to drink these in seconds. This is a clear drink. Yeah, it smells of blue raspberry. Well, it smells of raspberry. I've never eaten blue raspberry. Raspberries aren't blue. Raspberries are like red. Hmm. Here we go. That's nasty. I really like blue raspberry. This is not blue raspberry. This is like if blue raspberry was sent to hell, the devil made it, then he brought it back up. I said it was going to be nice. At the moment, the lemon and lime one's the nicest one. Um, it's not as bad. Is it as bad as the tropical one? I don't know. Just I don't get it. Why is there so much fuss over these drinks? And yeah, you know, I bet you some people watching this will be like, I can't believe it's got four bottles of this, and I've been trying to get it everywhere, and my kid wants this. And he's just drinking it and saying how much he hates it. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm saying I don't get it. No, that was really bland. That one's the most disappointing. Lemon and lime was okay. Uh, tropical, I didn't like much. This one's really disappointing. I don't get the fuss. I can get far better drinks. I can get other hydrating drinks that are probably better for me. And probably taste nicer. Um, fair play to KSI and Logan. Honestly, you've made your millions from this. Fair play to you. I wish I'd have thought about putting some lime cordial in a bottle and charging 40 quid for it. But I didn't. But now we come to the limited edition. 27 99 on Amazon. KSI, not KLF. That's for the old people watching this. Um, so KSI, ooh, has it got a flavour? Better not be KSI flavoured because I don't want to taste KSI. I don't know what it tastes like and I don't want to try either. Oh, huh? orange and mango. So KSI tastes of orange and mango apparently. Um, it's a pretty bottle. Some people are willing to pay a lot of money for such a bottle. I'm not. Thank you, Lisa, for getting me this, by the way, if I haven't already said. 
just give it a go. No, well, I'm going to stop moaning. Let's just try it. <sighs> Smells like Kiora. <laughs> or Robinson's Orange and Van Gogh Cordial. That's what it smells like. God, I'm going to lose so many. Am I going to lose subscribers? How many children subscribe to my channel? Probably not many. But the parents do, I guess. I don't mind this one. But then again, I don't mind Orange Cordial. Do I feel hydrated? No. One thing I will say, it leaves a weird film on your teeth. It really does, but I think that's the artificial sweetness more than anything. I don't think that's a um, prime thing. Um, I don't mind this one actually. I don't mind this one. I wouldn't have been saying that if I'd have paid £27.99 for it. But uh, as drinks go, it's it's all right. I think it's the only one that I could quite happily drink down the gym, because obviously BCAAs, gym, exercise, muscle mass. Um, that's the most that and the light matter. That and the lemon and lime are the most inoffensive ones. The tropical one smells odd, and the blue raspberry just doesn't really taste a blue raspberry. I don't know what it tastes like. The one thing you can't taste, but maybe it's just me being dumb, you can't taste the coconut. But then again, I don't actually think coconut water tastes of coconut. I don't even know what the percentage of coconut water is. So I suppose ultimately, well, you've got your, you've got your vitamins in here, you've got your BCAAs for why kids want that, I don't know. Um, it's supposed to hydrate you. Um, it's good as part of a healthy lifestyle. I don't get the fuss around it. I, I don't understand it. It's just a drink at the end of the day. It's not even the best drink in the world ever. Um, it's not the worst drink in the world ever. Although maybe the blue raspberry is quite close in the tropical punch. Um, that's social media for you isn't it and that's me saying that and I'm on YouTube and I plug myself left right and centre on social media so am I a hypocrite maybe but am I charging people 30 40 quid for a bottle no but then again KSI and Logan aren't doing that are they it's actually the, the, the shops it's the shops and the people that are charging all that money but yeah don't really want to go down that rabbit hole and it's already like nearly a 20 minute video so i just want to say again thanks caroline and lisa for getting me these drinks thanks reese for um, even suggesting it i'd never have considered getting these not not someone as old and grumpy as me because these drinks aren't that of people my age um but thanks it's it's some unique content which i normally wouldn't have thought about doing um sorry that i didn't like them um I'm trying. Yeah, I, I don't see the. I don't see the point. I'm really sorry. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get the fuss. And this is coming from someone who used to obsess about a lot of things when he was a kid, like TV programs, Nintendo, Thundercats, um, Panini sticker albums, Joey and that kind of stuff. But never really food and drink, which I've already said. So yeah. Um, Throughout the next couple of weeks, I'll probably slowly drink these one by one. Uh, do you know? I think I can even sell the empty bottles and get a couple of quid for them. I think people even want to buy the empty bottles. That's how crazy the world has come to. Do you know what I mean? I suppose I could put them on and then give the money to charity because I don't really want to profit from something like that. That just seems like wrong, really. But yeah, I'm just staring at the bottle, trying to make sense. I've still got it in my hand. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna call it a day. Um Must Review of Prime, he doesn't get it. He really doesn't get it. Um Yeah, thank you.
thank you. I think the people that need thanking, um, I'm very grateful for their contribution to this video. Um, I probably won't do any more prime ones. I probably can't afford the other ones. That really super limited edition one of shoots like selling for like a thousand pounds a bottle or something crazy. Um, yeah, just yeah for now. I just want to say thanks for everyone who's been watching these videos. Hopefully, you found this one interesting or at least quite informative or one heck of an eye opener. Um, but for now, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe, and um, see you in the next one. Try a bit.